last week I was going on a little bit about the BBFC and uh, specifically about film censorship. Now, um, I actually think that the BBFC are one of the more reasonable bodies in the world when it comes to film censorship. I think that they've they've raised their game an awful lot in the last few years. And I th that most of the time I agree with the decisions that they make. However, there is an issue with uh, the BBFC's system of charging fees which cannot be avoided, which I feel is stifling to the independent sector and actually causes damage to independent film. For example, uh, my movie The Devil's Music. Now, in the States, uh, The Devil's Music was released on DVD. That's a copy of the American DVD release. Okay, so the American DVD release of it actually has an awful lot of extras on the disc. There's not just the film, there's also about 25 minutes of deleted scenes, there's the original trailer, there's various things called The Lost Tales of Erica Spawn, which you can also find up on YouTube, uh, and then crucially, there are actually two commentaries. One of these is the regular director's commentary, and the other one's hidden. So if you actually own a copy of the American release of The Devil's Music, I'm giving the game away now, uh, there is a hidden commentary uh, which you can get to through the special features menu as an Easter egg. Now, uh, um, I won't mention immediately what the difference between those two commentaries are, but anybody who's seen the film should hopefully find them entertaining. Now, in the UK, we had a very different type of release. We went for a digital release. Um, and in fact, in the UK, you can still see the movie free on IndieMoviesOnline.com, and that's a legitimate streaming site. So um, we actually licensed the movie to them, and it's sort of ad-supported, and the filmmakers get paid. Um, so, but they did a big launch for it. In fact, we had like um, full-page ads in magazines like Total Film. So, you know, it was a big push. It was a big launch. However, if we'd have opted for a conventional DVD release like the American release. Uh, it wouldn't have been a matter of just putting all those cool extras on. You see, as I mentioned, the American release had two commentaries, the main feature itself, about 20 minutes of um, deleted scenes and various other bits and bobs. Now, the movie itself, if submitted through the BBFC for release on DVD, uh, there's a one-off charge, which isn't huge, just a small one-off charge, and then there's a per-minute charge. You have to pay in order to get the movie rated, which usually comes in... Um, somewhere less than a thousand pounds, depending on the running time of the movie of course. However, if you've got a commentary on it, that's considered a separate video work and you need to get the whole thing rated again. So you've got another several hundred pounds on top of that. For us to have two commentaries on that particular disc, you've got the whole thing rated yet again. All of those special features, the per minute rate on those, goes up yet again, yet again. And if you've got a movie that's an independent film with a, a, a fairly niche audience, suddenly you're looking at thousands and thousands of pounds of fees that you can't necessarily support with the marketing budget on that movie. So suddenly distributors start to say, well, actually, do we really need two commentaries? Do we really need all of these deleted scenes? And you start stripping off all the cool content from the disc just in order to keep the BBFC fees down. Sometimes you can see movies that get released in the States with a director's commentary on and then by the time they come out over here, there is no commentary on them. That sort of thing, when it's happening for financial reasons, I think is heartbreaking because you're actually losing a uh, really quality product just for purely financial reasons uh, in order to get the movie rated as it goes through the, the certification board. I think that that system needs to be addressed um, because ultimately in a, a global marketplace where people can import an American version of a DVD, why on earth would a British distributor release a version of The Devil's Music with all of those extras missing in order to save thousands of pounds in BBFC fees when then somebody can look at it go, well that disc hasn't got all the stuff I want on it and then import the American one. Just makes no sense. It doesn't.